Good morning. Welcome to the next adventure. Today's adventure is, uh, is definitely an outdoor adventure. We've got some temples in there too, so it's a little bit of for everyone. Uh, I'm at the beginning, I'm at the start of what's known as the Monk's Trail, uh, right outside of Chiang Mai here. Um, so you can get up here if you had a motorbike or a, a hire car, or you can even take a taxi up here. Um, so this has been highly recommended to me to do the Monk's Trail. Um, and I'm going to combine a couple of different things. I'm going to do the Monk's Trail, and then I'm going to do Doi Sutet as well, which is a Buddhist uh, temple on the hillside here. Uh, so I'm going to combine the two, uh, just keep walking up the hill. Um, it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. It's already pretty hot. Um, so I tried to get out as early as I could. But yeah, it's going to be a hot one today. Uh, apparently the views from uh, Doi Sutet are incredible, overlooking Chiang Mai. So I'm really looking forward to that definite reward for all this hiking that I'm going to be doing. Um, and also there's a couple of waterfalls up there. Um, so hopefully you can cool off, dip my feet in the water and uh, have a look at some amazing nature. So yeah, maybe there's, there's some wildlife up here we can see. Um, other than that, it's just going to be a beautiful trek through the rainforest, I think. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get started on this one. Um, about half an hour uh, to get up here by the Monk's Trail to a Wat Falap. Um, the track is quite manageable. I would, you know, shoes or trainers are fine. Flip-flops probably not, but hiking boots would be overkill. But yeah, I mean, you're in the jungle, so don't forget your bug spray, uh, sunscreen and bottle of water. Yeah, really, really nice, really, really nice uh, walk up here. And now that we're at the temple, that you know, you can hear the water behind me. Some really, really nice waterfalls. Uh, there's these stunning. Look at these guys. And these lead up to the temple. So I'm just going to have a bit of a look around here, uh, and then there's a car park up here, and then I'm going to head to Doi Sutet. done Wat Lat Temple, you can either just walk straight back down or you can come out up onto the main road here which is above the temple, just walk up the road a little bit and you come to this waterfall here and well, this sort of river crossing crosses the road. So from here you can continue the walk up to Doi Su Tet. The walk from the bottom of the Monk's Trail to Doi Su Tet is four and a half mile. So we've already done about a mile of it. So it's about three and a half mile to go to get up to there. So, say from here you could either walk back down, get a taxi back down, or get one of these uh, red sort of minibuses which would take you back down as well. Whew. Yeah it's hot. These are incredible though. Alright. So the start of this is 
pretty steep. I don't know if you can see quite how uphill this is. This is definitely a different level of fitness required for this section. And although it is a little tricky to find the start of the trail here, so I would highly recommend uh, that you have some kind of a GPS on your phone. Uh, and yeah, you can check that you're on the trail itself. Okay, so I've been hiking for about half, well, 45 minutes to an hour now and uh, popped out onto this road section here. So looking at the map, I'm almost at Doi Satet. Uh, I'm almost at the top, uh, but this is a, a really, really nice spot just to catch your breath because yeah, I really, really needed to catch my breath. And I mean, look at the view, look at that. It's absolutely amazing, well worth it. That second section of the hike is definitely more challenging than the first. I would say you need a strong level of fitness, plenty of water to get up that. Uh, the, after the first couple of hundred meters, which were a little bit tricky to see which, where the path was, it was absolutely fine. Didn't even need to check the map. You know, I just, there, it was very clear where you were going. So from here, uh, it does, the trail seems to go up the road. I don't really like going up the road. There is another little side road here, which is kind of, I can see on the map, but I don't really, I don't know if it's private land or something, so I don't really want to take it, even though it does go up to the temple. So from here, I'm just going to take the road uh, and it, yeah, it's just around the corner. And it, yeah, it should be, on the looks of things, about five, 10 minutes up the road. So I know that there are food stalls when you get to the entrance to Dois to Tet, uh, but I was just on my way up and I saw this little side street and there was parking up there. And there are the coaches come up here uh, when I think once they've dropped off their, um, all the tourists. And I found this tiny little place and it had this beautiful bubbling pot of um, of soup outside and it's something that I've not tried before and I know that it's a northern delicacy so um, I wanted to try it it's called Hanam Nin Nam Niao I hope I'm pronouncing that right and it's a traditional northern Thai dish uh, it's rice noodles uh, with pork blood in a pork broth uh, and the pork blood cubes and it was absolutely delicious and I was literally just eating there with I think uh, the the bus drivers um, and it was 30, 30 bar for the bowl. It was the cheapest bowl of noodles that I've seen around and it was, it was good. So yeah, I really like getting away from the tourist spots and I like eating with the locals, finding out where the locals are eating and uh, that's when you know, you know, you've got the good stuff, the proper stuff, um, none of that tourist stuff. So, and that was definitely one of those spots. So once you get to this stage, this is pretty much the entrance to Doi Sutep and uh, you've got these two called Nagas or Naja, Naja which are serpents uh, and they flank the 306 steps we now have to get up to the temple so if you're not completely crazy like me and uh, did, if you don't fancy doing the hike up here then you can either come up by motorbike, come up by car uh, you can take a tour up here um, or you can take one of these uh, little red kind of minibus that are everywhere uh, around the city um, you'll see them uh, and they you know and they just come straight up to the entrance here 
Um, and then, yeah, so from 306 steps to get to the temple. So, finally made it to the entrance of Wat Prathat Doi Sutep Temple. So that four and a half mile hike uh, took a couple of hours and uh, we've, I've gained 2,020 feet. So it is, it's quite an adventure. It's not the easiest hike I've ever done. Um, yeah, I was definitely out of breath uh, coming up there, especially on that second part. That was, um, yeah, that was tricky in some places, uh, but yeah, an adventure and uh, you know, it got the heart pumping and it was definitely what I was after, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, here we are at the temple, 30 bar to entrance to get in. I think it's cheaper or even free if you're Thai. Um, so I'm going to go inside and have a look around. So the reason why this temple is here uh, is because there was a monastery set up on the site where a piece of the historical Buddha's shoulder bone is said, is said to be and uh, the piece was being carried on a sacred white elephant and the elephant came to rest here on this site which is why they set the monastery up here. So it's a very important and historical site for Buddhists. enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me on more of my adventures. <laughs>